Yeah, I told the AI to test it in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Looks like it made it quite a ways. Startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot. I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. Harry really did me a solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out into the world again. My mom was a big believer in the city steam heating. It's better for the environment than fossil fuels, but high pressure can lead to deadly explosions. This station was designed to monitor the pressure in specific buildings. Help me show Oscorp it's worth the cost. Please. Harry's really invested in preserving his mother's legacy. And who can blame him? There's been a sharp rise in the pressure in some nearby buildings. The problem seems to be caused by faulty regulators. I've got to break them off before the pressure gets too high. And the building explodes. The city will replace the regulators I break. There's no time to do this the polite way. Luckily, the regulators are on the exterior. The well-placed web shot, what do you bet Jameson's gonna lead his show tomorrow with a Spider-Man vandalizes building story? Can't leave any of them. Just takes one to cause a blast. Too many people in these buildings. No time to evacuate. It's up to me. Wrecking these won't cause any serious problems. The city can fix them easily.
Okay. Better head to the roof and make sure the pressure's vented properly. Nary a peep from my spider sense. Everyone's safe. I better get out of here before someone asks me to pay for all this. Seeing a kidnapping. Witness reported location at Sugar Hill. Remember that steam pipe explosion when we were kids? Well, that's what Mom built this station to prevent. It monitors the pressure in the pipes and pinpoints trouble spots. There's a dangerous pressure buildup happening now. I've got to do something about it fast. Oscorp's satellites take seismic images of what's under the streets. If I hit the ground hard enough in the right spots, they can show me the high pressure points. Pressure like this usually means clogged release valves. Once I find them, I should be able to jar the clogs loose with another ground pound. Got my lenses tuned to the research station. High pressure will show up red, normal is blue. Okay, time to move. I've got to drop onto the street hard to generate enough force. Found a trouble spot. Get a picture! That's not the only danger zone. I need to locate the other pressure points. Better hit the ground somewhere else to get a reading. I don't have much time. If Oscorp was actually using Harry's station, he'd have found the problem before it got this bad. Of course, if there is an explosion, they'll blame it on Harry. Yet. Gotta hurry. There's the spot. Always helps to take the pressure off. Wish it was that easy for life in general. Harry's station prevented a major explosion. They can't justify closing it down now. Not a bad day's work. Founded me for a while. Apparently, Spider Man's been seen throughout the city tampering with steam regulators. Aside from generally being a vandal and a troublemaker, why would he do this? I'll tell you why. Because when the city has to send crews out to fix these problems, they need police to direct traffic around them. That's officers who aren't stopping crime. Which leaves, say it with me, Spider Man. 
He's trying to take our brave officer's jobs. This station may be safe, because it's helping test an Oscorp military application. Cloaking tech. But I don't love using armed drones to test in. Someone might get hurt. Not if I'm the one who tests it. Let's see if I can integrate the cloaking tech with my suit. Success! Uh, energy field interferes with my web gadgets. Not exactly a keeper. Uh-oh. Those armed drones are malfunctioning. They're dangerous. And the self-destruct signal's not working from here. But cloaked, I can get close enough to trigger the destruct mechanism. That drone didn't go far. I'll download its data before I wreck it, so they can ID the problem. Okay, I need to get within 10 meters of the drone to stop it. And I'll need to be cloaked. Nailed it! Now I've got to go visible again so I can swing to the others. But your data lives on. Better you than me. Didn't see it coming, did you? I'm always breaking stuff. Another one bites the dust. One drone. Are these armed drones even legal? Stealth Spidey strikes again. Stealth mode was fun, but it's not worth losing my webs over. Hopefully, Oscorp will figure out armed drones in Manhattan are not a good idea. But I'm not holding my breath. Now they've got the data they need. And the stealth tech is promising, even if it needs work. I think Harry's station is safe. And if they ever work the bugs out, maybe I'll whip myself up a stealth suit.
this is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. I know you saved the city. Don't think I'm not watching you. I got eyes like a hawk. Don't slip up! Get a picture! My bad! Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building. And the tallest one around is Osborne. I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Jump the gun! Not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Not low enough. Got an itchy web finger. Gotta hurry back to the lake and turn this loose. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. It won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot.
Have you ever been driving along, going to work or church, minding your own business, when suddenly, bam, you hit a pothole, damaging your car and ruining your whole day? Well, you know who to blame. No, not city bureaucracy. Spider-Man. He's been seen leaping down from great heights to pound the ground with maximum force. Why? There's only one possible reason I can think of. He hates us, and he wants us to be miserable. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu, and it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. The birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals. It'll cure the pigeons, or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. Whoa. One more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails, seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. Wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. Thank you. 
This is Sable Control. Need a status update on Gramercy. We have ordered a crowd of civilians to destroy... Hey, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I think I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice, it's working. Just a couple more barrels. Last one. That's it. Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open.
So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread. You know? Whoa. The pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Got it. Better than duct tape. Just call me the amazing spider plumber. I'll fix. Et voila. Just in time. Nail. Got it. Last one. But those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Now I ask. How many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry's station stopped the public utility meltdown. This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. Three guilty parties. 
I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like one down. That's a keeper. Your Earth friendly neighborhood Spider Man. received unsettling reports of Spider-Man in our public parks where children play, apparently, stalking pigeons. Yes, wild pigeons. You may wonder if he's gone insane, a perfectly valid question, but have you heard of the Goliath bird-eating spider? I'll spare you the gory details, but it's a spider big enough to devour birds. Now, Spider-Man sticks to walls like a spider. He jumps like a spider. What else does he do like a spider? Hey Pete, this station's one of my pet projects. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious? Uh-oh. It's not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. Set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. The size of the problem area fluctuates. 
I need to be ready for a sudden change. One down, but I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals, it'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. Ah, felt like my eardrums were gonna burst. And soon that'll happen. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Oh man. I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. The problem's getting worse. I'm running out of time. Got that invisible walls closing in. I feel like a mime. Can't waste a second. Getting to be a tight squeeze. Okay. Bam! Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. dissolve my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web is ever melt. Okay. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius's lab to combine... Everything. 
I'll just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. I think I improved the bacteria, but I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. Testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. It didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. It'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either.
Almost flattered Sable sending her best guys after you. Almost. analyzes hazardous chemicals, and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. They must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Mini-Me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it can bust. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in this crowd. Time to smoke him out. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge. 
and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data, but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have... have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? It looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Getting close. be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Hmm. Looks good. Let's see. Hmm. working everything stored successfully should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space and he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing <laughs> 